Today guys, we're gonna be building a three quarter fullered hammer finished front shoe with a toe clip. This will be the novice class for the South Africa contest. We're gonna be building this shoe out of 12 inches, that's three eighths by three quarter. I am gonna put a mark just on a light side of an eighth inch off center and my lateral mark to make sure that I get that even. We're gonna start by bumping a half inch into the toe of this shoe. I have to keep it straight to be able to bump it. So if it starts to bend on me, I'll straighten it out. We put right at a half inch into that. To do my toe bend, I'm gonna have three points of contact with my tongs. I'm gonna put about three quarter of an inch past the end of my tongs, three quarter of an inch past the end of my horn. I'm gonna hit one toe quarter, then the other toe quarter. As I do a toe bend, you'll see me do this a lot. What I'm doing is I'm checking to make sure that toe is coming in the center. Once I've got it brought around, once I've got it brought around past 90, I'm gonna come and seat the inside of this shoe out. Anytime that I'm flattening a shoe, I'm gonna try to get in line with my section. So you can see how I'm moving the shoe and the area I'm hitting is in line with my hammer. I'm gonna come to my horn, I'm gonna put center just past center, I'm gonna drop my left hand, drop my left hand, drop my left hand. I get to about where my transition from my toe is. I'm gonna hit just beyond. I'm gonna straighten everything else to find that out. Once I got my toe where I want it, I'm gonna take a straight edge, set it just behind the width of the shoe. I'm gonna draw a line, and that's gonna be the start of my forward. A transition point is when one arc changes to another arc. A definition of a good toe bend is that we have the same arc from one transition point to the other transition point and everything behind that is straight. That's a definition of a good toe bend. Once you've drifted it, gather your section and finish your shaping. Then you can flatten it. And at that point is when I do my box. And we'll purchase it. be holding in line with my branch. I'm going to hit that outside edge until I come to center. Bring it back to its original thickness. Hit the inside edge to the center, corner, corner. I'm going to make one pass down the center out to my heel. When I get to my heel, I'm going to turn my hammer in my hand and work back to my quarter. All the way around that outside. I'm going to flatten the foot surface. Clean up my inside. Around the end. Hold the line with my opposite branch. I'm going to make one pass around the horn. Flatten it out enough I can work it. Now to him, I'm going to start at the heel, or put, I'm going to start with hitting my heel about a quarter inch behind my mark. I'm going to work up to my mark. I'm going to hit beyond. Drop my left hand. At this time, I'm trying to shape it. Get to my quarter, through my quarter, all the way through my heel. I'm going to flatten it out just enough that I can work it. And I'll mark my forehead. 
Take your time marking your foot. This is where the shoe's won and lost is on your nail plate. Your nail plate is decided by where you put your foot. So you take your time to get that right. Hemming is a bevel that's through the full thickness of the stock. You can see where my hemming starts is right where my fullering starts. Whenever I start my hemming, I like to start about a quarter inch behind and work slowly up to my point of the start of my fullering. <clears throat> you can see now that we have our hemming done that we have a slight bevel that's through the full thickness. If we look at that right hand angle, you can see how it's just slightly tighter than 90 degrees and you can see how it's a straight line from the top of the section to the bottom of the section. Fuller is a three step process. Hit which locks the fuller, a twist which moves the shoe and a rock which moves the fuller. When you watch something that's practiced at fuller, it's all one motion is what you see. If you really take close attention, it's all three of those steps put together. Come to the horn and use the corner of my hammer and I'm going to pick up the base of my foot. Come around and I'm going to go ahead and shape my toe. Let me shape it out. I'm going to hit flat down, turn my hammer on my hand, and I hit straight down. What that's going to do going to use the corner of the camera to pull that out. We'll come to the horn. We'll flatten through that clip. 